Oh yeah, right over the big rock pack. Oh. Bit of brutal honesty here. There's no way I can go back the way I came. I'm gonna continue forward. All right, now let's just ride this thing. And before that last break, I was getting a little too timid. I wasn't riding the bike. I was being too afraid, too nervous. I need to stop that and just ride like I've been riding. I can do this. I've been doing it all day. But yet, I get into a corner like this and look at that. Putt-putting, nervous, instead of having fun with it. And again, I think that's a process of being tired as well as a little nervous because I'm afraid of going around a corner and finding something that is going to be more challenging than what I'm up for. Now, do I feel really good about what I've done so far? Heck yeah. But I'd really like it to be over with by now. <laughs> All right, guys. Future Patrick here. I'm having a hard time editing this video because I've done much more difficult riding than what you're seeing here. But yet, I did some struggling. Oh, boy. See, I looked at that and I thought, oh, crap. Instead of just doing it like I've been doing it, I got to get my, uh, my energy back. God, those corners are slick. Oh, yeah, right over the big rock pack. Oh. All right. I got to pick that up quick. I just bashed my engine. I do not have a uh, skid plate. That might not be good. And here, the, the riding was not that difficult. But me being as tired as I was, I just chose a bad line and didn't do well with it at all. Another unintentional break. Yeah, don't go over rocks like that, Patrick. Bad line. Took a bad line. I sped up this section because I was just, you know, checking over the bike after hitting that big rock. I was a little worried about it. Turns out there wasn't any damage that I could find. A little black thing on the ground there at the back tire. I have no idea what that was, but I did bend the clutch lever right here and didn't realize it until much later. All right. Well, let's hope I did not break my bike. Here I was worried about dumping the bike, not breaking the bike. And through here, the riding is pretty easy. Like I said, in this future, Patrick, I'm editing it, and it just drives me crazy that I was struggling with it so much when I was out there. And then I come to a mud puddle and I just freeze up. What's up with that? Oh, <laughs> I don't have much choice but to just go through here and cross my fingers because there's no way around it. I'll try to get up over this side first. And just go. Whoa, oh, oh, that was deep. <laughs> All right, and through this section, I'm just showing the road because originally I wanted to show a lot of the road to show how difficult it was. But in the editing process, it just doesn't look that difficult. But I wanted to leave it in anyway. That was deep too! <laughs> in this part, I'm just showing the road as I approach a mud puddle that I end up coming to a complete stop for. And in a way, it was probably a good thing. I should probably check these puddles out before I attack them. Alright guys. <sighs> I, I'm, I'm at a loss here. The road that I wanted to, to go back to the Forest Service Road, was supposedly on my right, but I didn't see anything back there. I try to turn around and come back and see if I can see that other road. And if I can't, then I think I'm going to go back the way I came. 
Whoa! Ho, ho. Dang, that was deep again. You talk about slick. Holy cow. I'm going sideways, people. <sighs> and finally here, you see I'm actually using the kickstand to turn the bike around. I'd say it's because, you know, I'm a he-man, I just wanted to do it that way, but in reality it was a lot easier to do it this way than it was the way I did it previously when I just turned the bike around, you know, working it, decided to take the lazy man's way. Whew. I don't know guys, I haven't started my backtracking to get out of here, and right now I'm just not confident I'm going to make it. We'll see. All right, see ya. And finally, I just want to say thank you all for watching this, and hopefully you're being nice in the comments. <laughs> because I don't know what was going on that day. Me being so tired, I just I just forgot how to ride, I guess. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope everyone can stay well, stay safe. Most of all, stay happy, y'all. And stay tuned. Next week, I get out of this mess.